My setup probably looks the same as always, except I did a multi-cam shoot and one of the cameras was pointed directly at my CRT monitor. I cropped out the bezel of the CRT monitor and put it as a picture-in-picture -picture in the upper right-hand corner. The project that you see isn't something I would do for a client. I just wanted to do a few motion paths and some simple motion graphics. Not only will the motion graphics play a lot smoother on a broadcast compliant monitor, but as I'm editing on the Premiere Pro timeline, I know that timeline is gonna look the exact same once it burns to DVD. Where if you're using your computer monitor to monitor your editing, the colors might be off by quite a lot the motion paths or motion graphics might look quite different. Pretty much all the Firewire DV converters that I've seen so far have hardware in them. So if you have an old worn out VHS tape, it'll help clean up the image. It might look wiggly on your TV or on your monitor, but once it gets captured, all the wiggly images will be eliminated. I have a video that demonstrates this and I'll try to provide a link. I just want to say you're watching old Hi8 tapes that were captured with the Canopus ADVC 110 and then I video recorded my CRT monitor using a cheap Canon Vixia camcorder. Having said that, I can see the letters on that motherboard. I can even see the lettering on that battery. Right now I'm simply playing the rendered version of my Hi8 tapes that I'd captured with the Canopus ADVC 110. I want to let people know you can easily see the werewolf's hair, you can see detail in the Frankenstein and in the rock, you can see the writing on the battery as well as writing on the motherboard so you can tell it's a pretty crisp clean image. I did a video using a cheap USB capture device and because of the way the drivers acted with the particular product you never got a really good image. It doesn't matter if you use a program like OBS and try and capture an uncompressed or a lossless codec. The USB capture devices usually have crappy hardware in them. You're gonna get a kind of funky looking image to begin with. Now, some of the USB capture cards that are over $40 probably do get a pretty clean image. In general, the USB capture cards are hit or miss. Some work, some don't. I'm not seeing many DV is the best video codec on the market. I am gonna say Mini DV works just fine for capturing VHS tapes. I also wanna add that I know my technique is not the best. I recommend this type of setup because it's easy to use. I know some people don't wanna use Adobe Premiere Pro because you have to rent it by the month. I don't know if Adobe Premiere Elements would give you the same results or not. I imagine it probably could, but I can't say since I don't have the product. If you have a Thunderbolt port, you can simply get a Thunderbolt to FireWire adapter. If you need to get a PCI Express card, all you have to do is install the card into an empty slot. Windows has support for FireWire built in, pretty much ever since Windows 2000. There's no need to install a driver. I should probably end this video by stating the cheap USB capture cards will not let you output the timeline of Premiere Pro to a broadcast compliant monitor. All I can say is that if you do a wipe or a slide or a zoom, it looks much smoother when you're seeing it on a broadcast compliant monitor using the ADVC 110 as opposed to editing on your computer monitor. I know a lot of VHS products only have the composite it is best if you can use S-Video for both recording and for playback. If you have motion paths or any type of motion graphics, you will notice a difference outputting from the ADVC 110 using the S-Video as opposed to the composite out. You can output high definition timelines when using the Canopus ADVC 110 with Premiere Pro. Some people might have seen me output 4K timelines and sequences with Premiere Pro to the Canopus ADVC 110. It works if you've got motion graphics, they might not play all that smooth if you're trying to play back a high definition timeline or obviously a 4K timeline. It's really only designed to be used with standard definition. If you want smooth playback using high definition or even 4K, your best bet would to be to get the intensity shuttle by Blackmagic Design. 
Having said that, I can't recommend the Intensity Shuttle for capturing VHS tapes or even Hi8 tapes unless you have a time-based corrector. That's why I still keep my ADVC 110.